student under the lesson 5 coordinate geometry we see the distance formula and now we are going to see the uh, examples we are solving the examples based on distance formula and under this the solved example first and second we had already seen in our last lecture and these two are the examples okay we find the distance between two points and here uh, we have to decide by using distance formula how to decide whether the points are collinear or not that we had seen and the next question verify uh, no this uh, this is collinear question is there huh, yes this is also are collinear not verify whether the points verify whether the points p 6 minus 6 q 3 minus 7 r 3 3 r collinear so same thing we have to decide that we have to find out the distance between two points okay for example distance between we have to find out the pq qr first of all we have to find out the distance between p and q q and r and p and r and from this we have to decide any two points distance sum of any two points is equals to means uh, this pq or qr otherwise pr qr is equals to the another one then the points are collinear otherwise it is not so first of all we will find out the distance between pq how to find out the distance between pq that is x2 minus x1 so here it under root x2 is the x2 minus x1 otherwise x1 minus x2 also we can take because its square we are taking after taking 3 minus 6 ok so minus x1 if we are taking here answer is minus 3 and its square is 9 and if we are taking x2 minus uh, x1 minus x2 means x1 is 6 minus 3 its answer is 3 and 3 square is 9 so both the conditions inside what we are taking answer is same and that's why here it is x1 minus x2 that formula is here instead of taking x2 minus x1 they are taken here x1 minus x2 bracket square because its answer is and same and here y1 minus y2 bracket square if you instead of using x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 you can use x1 minus x2 also for this okay so here by using the distance formula here they put the values that is x1 is 6 here this one is x1 and here it is 3 both subtraction you know that and plus here y1 is the minus 7, uh, y1 is minus 6 and y2 is minus 7 so here directly what values they are put put here in this way 6 minus 3 that is x1 minus here bracket square plus here minus 6 minus 6 into minus this is the formula inside this minus sign is at that and minus 7 from this value of y2 so here this is after solving this 6 minus 3 here at, as it is written minus 6 also as it is written but here minus into minus plus 7 bracket square is taken here okay now after solving this they get the answer what root 10 you know that 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 3, 3 square minus 6 plus 7 1 1 square 3 square is 9 and 1 square is 1 so under root 10 is its answer next term we have to find out the distance between qr by using the same formula for qr also they are taken 3 minus 3 answer is here 3 and minus 3 here x2 and x1 value are 3 and 3 and here according to this x y1 and y2 value minus 7 minus 3 minus 7 minus 3 so 10 square is equal to under root minus 10 square is under uh, equal to 100 then next uh, we have to find out the distance between pr put the values of it and pr's value are here it is pr so we have to do 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 and minus 6 minus 3 is uh, minus 6 minus 3 is equals to what 9 and then after getting you are getting here value 
90. Now we find the distance between two points, two, two points from this. Now from this one's value is 10, another value is under root 10 and last value is under root 19. From these three, the biggest one is who? That is under root 100 is largest one. Now we will verify that under root 100 and under root 9 means small two number sum. We have to whether it is the bigger distance then these points are collinear. So here under root 10 and under root 90 are equal. Okay. So here under root 10 100 its square is equals to and under root 10 plus 90 its square we have to do. So when you solve this when you solve this we will see that so when we solve this under root 100 its value is 10 you know that uh, sorry under root 10 100 its value is 10 because it is the square of 100 next uh, under root 10 the value of under root 10 is 3.16 something is coming it's forward it is not a perfect square number and under root 90's value is 9.48 something is there so here if we done the sum of it its answer is 12.64 something so the pq plus pr means this value is greater than qr and that's why these points are not collinear okay when these points are collinear the sum of smallest two and numbers square is equal to largest one then the points are collinear otherwise not okay now the next question is the question number four show that point one seven show that point one seven four four two 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 4 4 are vertices of a square. For that also what we have to do we have to find out the form 4 vertices. You know that the uh, square has 4 vertices. So we have to find out the values of their distance between the sides. Square what is the property of square? Square all sides are equal in length. So we will let here name of the square is not given so we have to take the name. In a quadrilateral if all sides are are of equal length and both diagonals are of equal length then it is a square okay so here we will find the lengths of the sides and diagonals by using the distance formula suppose here name of the quadrilateral is not given in the question so we will take our own name so we uh, we are taken here the coordinates are same only so point this point we are taking as a a this coordinate we are taking as a b Minus 1, minus 1 we are taking as a C. Minus 4 and 4 we are taking as a D. Now we have to find out the distance between AB, distance between BC, distance between DC and distance between AD. And when these all are same, okay, with this we have to find out. Then you know that it is rhombus also, okay. If all sides are same, then rhombus also. Then we have to find out the distance between AC and DB also. Because these are the diagonals of a uh, square and diagonal uh, and diagonal square are also equal in length so if ad is equal to uh, ac is equal to db and all sides are equal the given figure is a square so first of all we will find the here coordinates we will write a's coordinate is the 1 7 1 7 b's coordinate is 4 2 c's coordinate minus 4 4 and d's coordinate is coordinate sorry my c's coordinates are minus 1 1 minus 1 and minus 1 only and here d's coordinates are minus 4 and 4 now we will find out the distance between a b so 1 minus 4 1 minus 4 bracket square plus 7 minus 2 bracket square. Okay. Directly we are taken here without writing formula under root. So 1 minus 4 answer is 3. 3 square is here it is written directly 9. 7 minus 2 its value is 5. 5 square 25 is already written. So 9 plus 25 is equal to 
थर्टी फोर एंड स्क्वे रूट साइन इज रिमेन एज इट इज सो ए बी डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर देन द नेक्स्ट इज द बी सी इज वैल डिस्टेंस वी विल फाइंड आउट सो बी सी हियर फोर माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन सो हियर फोर माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन मीन्स इट्स अ वैल्यू इज प्लस सो फोर प्लस वन विल कम हियर टू माइनस वन मीन्स टू माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन सो टू प्लस वन इज देयर सो दिस वैल्यू टू माइनस वन सो हियर देर फोर प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू फाइव फाइव स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन एंड सम ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर आफ्टर दिस वी विल फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द थर्ड साइड ऑफ अ स्क्वेर दैट इज अ सी डी सो हियर इट इज माइनस वन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर सो माइनस वन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर मीन्स हियर माइनस वन माइनस वन इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर सो इट्स वैल्यू इज माइनस वन इट रिमेन्स एज इट इज माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर ओके ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर एंड देन अनादर वाई कॉर्डिनेट माइनस वन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन माइनस फोर हियर इट इज दिस इज द वाई टू एंड दिस इज वाई वन सो वी हैड डन द सब्सट्रेक्शन ऑफ दिस सो हियर माइनस सो द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस वन प्लस फोर इज थ्री थ्री स्क्वेर नाइन माइनस वन माइनस फोर फाइव फाइव स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव सम ऑफ दिस इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर सो दिस वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो थर्टी फोर लास्टली वी विल फाइंड आउट द फोर्थ साइड ऑफ अ स्क्वेर दैट इज डी ए हियर डी ए सो माइनस फोर माइनस वन माइनस फाइव माइनस वन यू कैन टेक एनी थिंग यू कैन टेक ए एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट अदरवाइज डी एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट आई टू केयर डी एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट एंड हियर इन द बुक इट इज टेकन ए एज अ फर्स्ट पॉइंट सो हियर डी सो हियर इट इज वन वाई टू वाई वन एंड वाई टू सब्सट्रेक्शन इज अ माइनस वन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर सो हियर प्लस फोर इट देर देन नेक्स्ट फोर एंड सेवन इट्स सब्सट्रेक्शन इज द सेवन माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच इट इज देर दैट इज सो वन प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवन माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू थ्री थ्री स्क्वेर नाइन वन प्लस फोर फोर फाइव एंड फाइव स्क्वेर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इज सेवन माइनस फोर दैट इज थ्री थ्री स्क्वेर नाइन इट्स एडिशन इज अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर नाउ इफ यू सी हियर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एनी टू पॉइंट्स मीन्स हियर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन वर्टेक्स इन टू टू डिस्टेंट वर्टेक्स ओके इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर एंड अंडर रूट थर्टी फोर ओके नाउ इट इज अ वॉट ऑल साइड्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट दैट वी प्रूव बट टू प्रूव द गिवन फिगर इज अ स्क्वेर वी हैव टू शो दैट ए सी इज इक्वल टू डी बी सो ए सी इज डिस्टेंस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए सी ए सी एज कॉर्डिनेट इज हियर एंड सी इज कॉर्डिनेट्स आर हियर सो ए सी माइनस वन माइनस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू फोर अदरवाइज वन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन वन दिस इज द वाई एक्स कॉर्डिनेट एक्स वन कॉर्डिनेट माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन दैट इज वन माइनस माइनस प्लस वन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू 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 स्क्वेर इज फोर इट इज गिवन हियर एंड सेवन प्लस नेक्स्ट कॉर्डिनेट वाई टू सेवन एंड हियर इट इज फोर सॉरी दिस माइनस वन वी हैव टू टेक सो हियर सेवन माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस वन सेवन प्लस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर सो वन टू स्क्वेर फोर सेवन प्लस वन एट एट स्क्वेर सिक्सटी फोर एंड सिक्सटी फोर प्लस सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फोर प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट सिक्सटी एट ओके नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन बी एंड डी सो बीज कॉर्डिनेट इज फोर टू एंड डीज कॉर्डिनेट इज माइनस फोर एंड फोर वेन यू सॉल्व दिस फोर माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर फोर प्लस फोर इक्वल्स टू एट एट स्क्वेर इज सिक्सटी फोर इज रिटर्न हियर एंड सेकेंड कॉर्डिनेट टू माइनस इंटू ब्रैकेट माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस टू माइनस टू स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू फोर and its sum is equal to 68 now here we find out the ac and bd and this value is also same what is the value under root 68 from this we got here all the distance between the what the cortex bit that is ab bc cd and ad is same that is under root 34 and distance between the diagonals that is ac and bd is same that is the 68 68 and that's why these points are these points are the points of where these are the vertices of the square 
therefore here it is written AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to CD is equals to AD and AC is equal to DB okay and in this way we have to solve the examples question number fifth and sixth is also it is here find the coordinates here more, more questions are there today we solve only one more question we will see find the coordinates of y axis which is equidistance from m is m's coordinate minus 5 minus 2 and n's coordinate is 3 and 2 let the point point 0 y if the point is on y x, x y axis its x coordinate is 0 that's why point p is there that point which is on the y axis and its coordinate is 0 and y and on y axis y axis be equidistance from this m and n okay now pm is equal to equidistance means pm is equal to pm this is the point p here it is and here it is they are equidistance so pm is equal to p n now we have to find using the distance formula that is why here square had done pm square is equal to pn square hmm? and after that they put here values x2 these points they are taken so pm distance p's coordinates are here and m's coordinate here so minus 5 minus 0 is equals to minus 5 minus into bracket minus sorry here 0 pm taken there so 0 minus into bracket minus 5 bracket square hmm? and here y this is the y2 coordinate y minus into bracket minus 2 so here it is y minus 2 bracket square that is the distance between pm same way we have to find out the distance between pn so here 0 minus into bracket minus 3 it will come hmm? and next uh, uh, minus 3 0 minus 3 will come here because here if we are taking distance formula it is x1 and it is x2 here y1 and here it is y2 and y minus 2 means this is y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 so this is y minus 2 when you solve this you will get the answer 0 minus 1 to bracket minus 5 bracket square means plus 5 square is equal to 25 y plus 2 bracket square here it will come from this when we solve it 0 minus 3 means 3 square is equal to 9 and y minus 2 hmm? it's a it is the bracket a minus b bracket square factorization we have to use here so first term square y y square minus 2 into both the number so 2 2 is a 4 minus 4 y and 2 square is 4 next 25 here also same thing we have to do a minus a plus b bracket square factorization we have to use so 25 y square both 2 4 y 2 2 is a 4 into y and here it is y when you solve this y square get cancelled with y square plus 4 y cancel get uh, sorry it will not get cancelled so here it remains 4y this 4y it will come here for the addition so 4y plus 4y how much it is there we want to change the position it will come here for the addition so 4y plus 4y 8y 25 when it will goes here when we solve this you will get it here minus 20 16 and when you solve this you will get here yx coordinate is minus 2 means the minus 2 is the y's coordinate of a point which is equidistance from the point p m and in this way we have to solve the example using the best distance formula the next examples we will solve in our next lecture okay so today we will stop here only okay thank you